Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for May 30th. The scripture reading says, Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 24. Never a prayer is offered, however faltering. Never a tear is shed, however secret. Never a sincere desire after God is cherished, however feeble, but the Spirit of God goes forth to meet it. Even before the prayer is uttered or the yearning of the heart made known, grace from Christ goes forth to meet the grace that is working upon the human soul. Your Heavenly Father will take from you the garments defiled by sin, in the beautiful parabolic prophecy of Zechariah, the high priest Joshua, standing clothed in a filthy garments before the angel of the Lord, represents the sinner. And the word is spoken by the Lord, take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. Even so, God will clothe you with the garments of salvation and cover you with the robe of righteousness. He will bring you into his banqueting house, and his banner over you shall be love. The steps upward to heaven must be taken one at a time. Every advanced step strengthens us for the next. The transforming power of the grace of God upon the human heart is a work which but few comprehend because they are too indolent to make the necessary effort. Oh, the long suffering mercy of our God when his people put away the sins that had shut out his presence, he heard their prayers and at once began to work for them. Heavenly Father, thank you so, so, so very much for being a forgiving God, a God who is always ready to turn to your children when we have seen that we've committed sin and repent you're always ready to forgive and always ready to be our god help us through the indwelling of your holy spirit to bask in your love and to only feel safe and secure in your love help us not to wander after lies and things that will not be here for eternity. Help us to understand that all the wealth that we may have accumulated, all the homes we may have accumulated, the cars, the degrees, whatever earthly possession, that those things will not be going with us to heaven. It is the character of Christ. It is your character, Heavenly Father. It's the Holy Spirit's character that will be going to heaven. So help us to be willing to remove everything from us that is unlike you. And for us to be filled, filled with your image. Thank you so much for your righteousness, your peace, your joy. Help us as women to know these things, to share these things, and to be ready to meet Jesus and hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Help us to serve others as we serve you. Forgive us of our sins, we pray in Jesus' name, amen.